What is up my lads, it's your boy the Spartan Slob aka the most beautiful lads on YouTube aka the true Call of Duty athlete aka the numero uno Ali fan lads. Yesterday I was watching a movie called Brave Hearts and in that movie there's a prince that looks exactly like Ali and I was going crazy lads, I was going nuts because all I kept thinking was I wish Ali was my prince but anyways lads on today's video the spartan beast is going to be talking about the evolution of the chain so i hope you lads enjoy if you do make sure you spank that like button and also little jamie what you waiting for i know you have been watching the videos and you're not subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button to get a free sample of nerd fuel so i hope you lads enjoy the video i'll see you next time peace out warning the following video is so manly that it can make a woman Grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Beaver, proceed with coin. You know what? I'm gonna have to say that yeah, you're right, Slob. He does look a little bit like Ali A. But anyways, guys, moving on from the weird side of YouTube, I just you know that just felt kind of weird. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am bringing you the evolution of the most badass LMG in Cold War history, which is the Chainsaw. So so far, the Chainsaw has been in three Cold War games, and we're gonna take a look at how this bad boy has evolved over the years. So without wasting any more time, ladies and gentlemen, the Chainsaw first appeared in Cold War Ghosts back in 2013. Damn, that was like. A, a century ago and uh, it was love at first sight I just love the chainsaw it was the whole package ladies and gentlemen first of all it was a very unique LMG because you can hip fire only that's it you cannot aim down the sights it doesn't have any optics because it's only for hip firing like a straight up diabolical beast as I was saying it's the whole package why well number one the name is biblical chainsaw how how more how much more of a badass name do you want it's just straight up chainsaw right then it kind of looks like an LMG and a chainsaw had a baby together it looks super Super biblical then it's a straight-up monster I mean it has a, a lot of people kind of like uh, didn't like the chainsaw that much because it was hip firing only right you couldn't aim down the sights but it has good damage it has good range it has literally no recoil as I am spamming this thing like Rambo it barely even moves and it has a ton of ammo so this thing is absolutely biblical ladies and gentlemen it's not just the looks it doesn't have just the looks it also performs on the field now i'm gonna be honest and i'm gonna have to say that the m27 ir is better than the chainsaw that is why all the little jimmies and all the slobs prefer the m27 over the chainsaw they also prefer the m27 because they're too weak right they don't have the big guns that the spartan beasts and the straight savages have uh, in order you know the muscle the muscle mass in order to carry such a badass gun right they're weak that's why they use the m27 that's why they sit in corners that's why they lay down on their bellies the whole game. The, the chainsaw is not for the weak, it's for the beast, all right? So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to take a good look at this gun, all right? Just, just take a good look at this bad boy. It looks absolutely amazing. I mean, I love it. One thing I love about the chainsaw, ladies and gentlemen, is that when you are using it, you can see pretty much 90% of the gun and we're using such a badass gun that's very important because you get even more confidence right you feel even more of a badass because you see that gun working you see that gun going to work shredding little jimmies you see the bullets going in flying out like crazy you see the strap that biblical strap around the chainsaw that makes it look very bad super badass you see that grip i mean you just want to kill little jimmies you don't want to stop so the chainsaw is absolutely amazing the one from call of the ghost it is my favorite ladies and gentlemen so two things you have to notice about this chainsaw is that two very cheeky things is that it comes with a laser sight for free okay it's always there no matter what attachments you use and the laser sight helps this thing uh, stay on target even 
even it's even better all right so i believe that the laser sight really really helps the gun stay super accurate when hip firing it's not there just to make it look pretty now one thing that is there to make it look pretty in this case to make it look more badass is the noob tube the noob tube is always there on the chainsaw but if you want to use the noob tube you have to actually select it as an attachment if you don't select it as an attachment it's still there but you don't you're not allowed to use it but i like it because it makes the lmg look even bigger it makes it look even more badass and for the first time ladies and gentlemen in a call of the game we were allowed to equip a noob tube on lmgs that only happen in a call of duty ghost ladies and gentlemen i love ghosts not gonna lie i absolutely love call of duty ghost so ladies and gentlemen then the chainsaw returned once again in black ops 4 so this was not the the og this was not like the og the old school chainsaw from call of duty ghost ladies and gentlemen this was treyarch's version of the chainsaw and you actually had to use a weapon mod to get that bad boy so you had to use the hades all right this is the hades without the weapon mod not gonna lie it's also pretty badass it's also a very good lmg in black ops 4 but with the crossbar attachment ladies and gentlemen boom you would get this bad boy right here Trerox version as i said of the chainsaw i believe they didn't want to copy paste the chainsaw from call of duty ghost they thought it was a pretty cool lmg to have in their game uh hip firing only lmg and you know what that was definitely a great idea now in advanced warfare you might be like okay just because it's a hip firing only lmg doesn't mean it's the chainsaw well we had a hip firing only lmg in advanced warfare right akimbo lmgs and they look nothing like the chainsaw but this one does that's why i decided to include it here on the video it's Treyarch's version of the chainsaw and it's super badass not gonna lie it's also very good unfortunately it doesn't have the chainsaw handle that makes it look super badass the one from call of duty ghost but it has that side uh, grip that also makes it look badass and overall i will have to say that this is a pretty good lmg with or without the let's call it chainsaw attachment right the crossbar but i have to admit that the titan is still bad to you know just like with the uh, the chainsaw from ghost and the m27 the beast will use the chainsaw in this case the hades with the crossbar and all the little jimmies the weak will use the titan it is fine and finally ladies and gentlemen the titan not the titan the uh, chainsaw came back one more time in call of duty modern warfare aka call of duty modern claymore aka call of duty modern safe space and also call of duty war zone the chainsaw returned once again ladies and gentlemen as the fin now this is the normal uh, the normal fin right without the chainsaw attachment and let me tell you something this bad boy is absolutely amazing the fin right now might be the best lmg in the game in like a top five maybe top three best guns in warzone i don't really care about the multiplayer to be honest you know i don't have to i don't want to deal with doors and claymores and safe spaces and all that stuff i just play shipment or shoot house to unlock attachments attachments but anyways guys when you put the stock attachment which is literally called chainsaw you get the chainsaw that is pretty much the same from call of duty ghost he has a pretty he has some pretty different uh, some uh, cheeky differences here and there now first of all that's the the biblical strap around the chainsaw it did not come back unfortunately okay now this one does something pretty cool that the one from call of duty ghost does not which is it when you go fully when you go fully automatic like rambo it literally starts spitting fire it literally starts breathing fire like a dragon and that makes it look super badass ladies and gentlemen that's definitely pretty cool now there's the weird stuff about this chainsaw from call of the rewards on a modern warfare right um you can equip iron sights on the chainsaw even though you can only hip fire now you can see the the sights did i say iron sights you can equip sights optics like red dots and stuff like that on the chainsaw and you can you can see them there but you can't use them now in call of duty ghost they didn't even bother putting sights on the chainsaw here i understand that the optics are there because you know the chainsaw is just an attachment right uh, it's not a real gun but uh, you know it's just weird to let us put the 
attachments on the chain so you know it's kind of weird another weird thing is that when you're using the heartbeat sensor it literally cuts like the bottom of the the heartbeat sensor and you cannot see anything it's really annoying but you can fix that by switching to your secondary and another thing i kind of like don't enjoy about this chain so is that when compared to the original one you pretty much can't see the gun all you see is the hand of the guy holding you know the chainsaw that chainsaw grip you see a little bit of the of, of the gun and that's it you see like 45 percent of the gun and i don't like that even though yeah you can still see the gun by, by spectating or by reloading but it's not the same thing as in call of the ghost and that is why ladies and gentlemen in my opinion the chainsaw from call of the ghost is still the best it is the winner let me know what you guys think in the comment section below thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you spank the like button also subscribe if you're new here i'll see you guys next time peace out